భగవత్ కృపయాలబ్ధం సద్గురు ఈశం చత్కృపాలబ్ధం జానను ఉపకృతి మహితే భగవతి పరమాం భక్తిం అవుతుందే హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ థ్యాంక్ యూ టుడే మిస్టర్ విమల్ భూపాల సింగ్యం ఆఫ్ లండన్ హూ ఈస్ ద స్పాన్సర్ ఐ గో టు సముద్రిక శాస్త్ర పార్ట్ టూ దోస్ హూ హ్యావ్ నాట్ సీన్ సముద్రిక శాస్త్ర పార్ట్ వన్ క్యాన్ విజిట్ మై వెబ్సైట్ అండ్ హ్యావ్ ఐ లుక్ ఎట్ ఇట్ దెన్ యూ విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు ఫాలో దిస్ లెక్చర్ ఈజిలీ in samudrika shastra not only the features for my last lecture uh, there was uh, quite uh, very good response and uh, one friend had suggested that uh, you can use the term physiognomy for uh, samudrika shastra but once again physiognomy is a term relating to the mind if you read your mind from the face it's called a physiognomy it is much to do with uh, psychiatric uh, specialists that's why i call it featureology while you come to discuss about features samudrika shastra says that everything counts in the human body the walking counts the gait counts urination counts sweating counts that way everything is pre measured by destiny you must walk like an elephant a bull a tiger a lion upright walking majestic and uh, brave that is the ideal way of walking even while you pass urine you must pass it in a single reel not in multi reels shastra say it has uh, an effect the same way as i told you samudrika shastra is a wide ocean you cannot cover it up within one hour or two hours i think today we can come to the palms the two palms there is quite much literature on palmistry in the world today as you know but today i am going to give you some facts which are not very familiar to the masses what the samudrika shastra says traditionally on palmistry i am going to give today according to the shastras we find every small scribbling a loop or a word or a circle or a line as a connotation cbi people criminal invest- investigation people say that uh, no two imprints are identical even if it is a case of twins uh, no two imprints are I- identical god's creation is such wonderful every line has a meaning and there are some people who mock at uh, palmistry saying that even monkeys have lines on their hands if you watch a monkey if you watch the open palm of a monkey you can see lines very similar to human beings and they ask you okay if palmistry is going to foretell the future what is the future of a monkey what is the difference between a monkey's palm and a man's palm it's all just natural man it occurs because of folding the palm that's what they say but that's not true monkey's palmistry is different there is a shastra called mruga shastra when you buy a horse or when you buy a bull or when you buy a cow or when you buy an elephant there are observations to be made while purchasing there are separate sciences called aswavidya gajavidya govidya there we find an interpretation for monkey's lines please do not confuse that with this 
we are talking about human beings not of monkeys we are talking about human palms we have nothing to do with monkey now now the general structure of the palm should be fleshy fleshy means medium fleshy not very very fleshy it must not be skeletal it must not be lean emaciated no it must be fleshy the knuckles must not be pronounced that is the joints when you hold your fingers together you must not be able to see gap between any two fingers they must match with each other tightly that is the lakshana if the knuckles are bulged out what happens is when you hold the fingers together you can see holes in between the fingers if you hold the water the water will drip out that is not uh, altogether a good symptom but uh, it is also said in the shastras that uh, people who have uh, such uh, pronounced knuckles will have a helping tendency tyaga shilo tunaraha such a man will be ready to give up money or anything of his possessions for the sake of others tyagashilam sacrificial mentality but normally from the worldly point of view a close knit finger structure is good and the mounds you see the pads below the fingers they must be well developed particularly this particular finger this finger which we call the index finger is denoted as tarjani this tarjani belongs to brihaspati and shastra say that the divine current enters a human body only through this finger so there was a prohibition saying that you must not use this finger for brushing your teeth it is a holy finger you can note one thing these uh, hypnotists and the mesmerists will they practice their art they stretch their index finger below the forehead of the person the subject and uh, they project the tip of the index finger towards the center here between these two brows they say look at me look at me look at me they keep saying that gradually what happens is their bodily astral current passes through this finger into the head into the thinking of the subject and even while warning others we say be careful we use only this finger we don't use this finger we say be careful because this finger is an expression of your ego your personality and then coming to finger length i don't know whether you have noticed it or not not all people have an equal length of fingers for some you can see the palm area will be more than the finger area for some the finger area will be more than the palm area that is fingers will be long shastra says the shorter the fingers the more base the metal that person is made of such a person will be short tempered he won't be very much uh, cosmopolitan he'll be very reserved and it is very tough to move with him but if the fingers are long they will have a large heart they will have artistic temperament they will be sculptors artists painters and they will be good at arts but if the fingers are too long even that is not good that ends up in suicidal tendencies so you can show your palm before the mirror and study whether this area is the same as this area what is most ideal is both should be almost equal 50 50 that's good then 
talk of this uh, thumb. This is called angustaha. This corresponds to lagna in your horoscope, ascendant. This decides the ascendant. If you can see, in the center of this top phalange of thumb, a small serpent-like line, you can decide that Rahu or Ketu is entering your lagna in Gochara. And it is from this, the date of birth and uh, the month of birth and the time of birth is decided. And this angusta, this thumb, must be set in such a way that when you hold all the five fingers together, the tip of this thumb must reach not less than half of the first phalange of the index finger. If it is below this, if the thumb reaches below this, that is not a well-developed personality. He cannot be a leader, usually they say. If by a hair width this thumb exceeds the center of the first phalange of index finger, for every hair width you can add marks to his personality development. He will be a leading man. Napoleon is said to have had such a thumb. Then, coming to the next point, when you hold your palm like this, for some, the fingers will lean this way. For some, the fingers will lean towards the thumb. So, leaning towards the thumb is good. Leaning the other way is not that very good. The general color, it must not be pale or yellow, it must be either rose or slightly reddish. When you feel the palm, it must be smooth, it must not be hard. A smooth palm augurs well. So, with these uh, small points of introduction, I would like to go into the text. There are many shlokas, there are many points to be observed in this. But uh, what I am going to present before you is just a drop of that ocean. Here in this uh, Samudriga Sastra, the names are totally different. In uh, popular palmistry, people call it this one as heartline. But Sastra says it is Bandareka. The popular palmistry says uh, the center one is headline. But Sastra calls it Vyagra Vilasa Leela Rekha. Then this one is called uh, Lifeline in popular palmistry. But Sastra calls it Atma Rekha or Gotra Rekha or Rohini. There are different names. And each name has a cause for it, a reason for it. And they have mapped the palm so thoroughly that they have an explanation for every millimeter of the area of the palm. Every scribbling has a connotation. It is fate written. Only sages can read it. I cite before you a few of the shlokas, I think which will be useful for you. Jeshtanguli tale yasya chaturekaha pravartitaha adhya shreyan yasasvi syat suki chaiva sada bhavet. You see, here usually we see three lines. Instead of three lines, if you can see four lines well formed, it's a token of great luck. Such a person will be healthy, strong, long lived, well famed and he will never suffer for food, he will be affluent in money. And uh, the next shloka says, Ankusham kundalam chakram mayuram chapi drishyate yasya pade chapano chayatasya rajyam vinidishet. If you can see, come across the figure of uh, kundalam. Kundalam is uh, earring 
Ankusham. Ankusham is a weapon used to control the elephant. Chakram, wheel-like structure. Mayuram, peacock. If these figures are seen anywhere, formed by lines, either on the left palm or on the right palm, or on the feet, soul, that means the person will definitely become a king. In Krishnavatara, Sukabrahmam says, Srimad Bhagavatam says that Lord Krishna had these signs upon his palms and the souls. So these are all Mangala Chinhas. Then I go to the next sloka because once I delay in one matter, I don't think I can find myself out of this. This um, Shatrusthana, Shatrusthana is a place allotted in the palm to talk about the enemies of the person. This is the Shatrusthana, that is between the index finger and the thumb, below this is called Pitrusthana, below this Pitrusthana. Westerners call it uh, Jupiter Mount. Below this area is called Satrusthana. If this Satrusthana is bulged out, the Western palmistry says that such a person will be bold and brave and he will have no enemies. But Sastras in India say that a depression is desirable. A bulged out mount causes a lot of worries creates enemies and your life will be full of encounters. Then I go to the next part of it. He starts with the wrist. Mani bandho dostalyoho sandiriti abhidiyate atra tat sthanaga Reka Paritaha Katanakurti Saisha Shat Srinkala Kara Yadi Vidya Prada Dranam Tatra Tavat Bandareka Dvayamasti Tare Dvayo Ho. You see, here we find the lines. They are called Mani Bandha lines, Mani Bandha Rekas. That is the junction of the forearm with the palm, the wrist both on the left and the right hands. If these lines, they are usually two or three, if these lines are chain formed, that is a great luck. The sage says, such a person will be well learned, he will be affluent, he will find himself amidst rich people. He will not face with the hardships of life. So that is thing, this Mani uh, Bandha then comes one interesting thing is uh, Kiro says that uh, in his experience his um, findings depending upon his findings he says uh, once the, the Manibandarenka is chained such a person faces very much of uh, counter currents in life he has to struggle very much he says but Sastra says this way but what he says is true of some other feature. Then comes this, um, I told you this Pitrusthana, um, Satrusthana, Pitrusthana. This is Pitrusthana, this is Satrusthana. This line is called Gotra Reka. This denotes your uh, dynasty, parents, ancestors, like that. This Thana is called Pitrusthana. That is, it relates to father. This uh, mount, which is called Jupiter Mount, belongs to Brihaspati. And depending upon the good marks upon it, depending upon the length of this finger, your horoscope is decided. When you hold all the four fingers together, this index finger must reach not less than half of the topmost phalange of the middle finger. 
if it sinks down it's not good that means in your horoscope uh, jupiter is uh, debilitated it's not a desirable feature then the next shloka speaks of mandalakara what is mandalakara apitrustanam angushta moolat parshvam talasya yate mandalakaram iti uktam sthanam skandadibihi you see this area you see the arch between this thumb and index finger you see a curve formed this curve is called mandalakara that is the gap between the thumb and the index finger and the arch formed by it it's called the mandalakara what is to be noted here especially is if you watch closely you will find here a tissue a skin a flesh is holding this thumb close to this but for some people this tissue will not be there this thumb will be falling like this horizontal and this space will be too much for such persons you can find more area is given to this mount this mount belongs to sukracharya that relates to fine arts dancing music uh, painting sculpture neatly dressing uh, designing your house all such beauty arts if this thumb goes down you can see in this picture how in some cases it is like that they are venusians in whose horoscopes sukracharya is very strong i can tell you most of the film artists will have this most of the film artists instrumental artists actors singers dancers painters and people who are delved deep into artistic taste they will have this and this it is that mandalakara which designs it then coming to the next shloka i come to rohini rohini manibandhatu talamulasya madhyata a tarjani antaga reka tatsamo varna eva va you know this line which the western palmistry calls life line it starts from here below pitrusthana and goes on till here it is called rohini why is it called rohini it comes from the sanskrit dhatu ruha ruha means grow depending upon the good deeds or bad deeds which you do in this current present life this line will either grow or diminish that is why it is called rohini tad varna vinasho api yatra tatra mrutim vadet yadi va rohini mooladadho vakrascha kaschanne if you see any gap in this line gap means you see you find a color the ideal color for the palm lines is honey colored lines must be honey colored that is most ideal other colors are not very good if this color is with no gap if it is persistent if it is continuous till here such a person will live a long life of 100 years with no diseases but usually we cannot come across such a line mostly people have intermissions the color will be left over on the way or for some people the line itself will be broken for some people the line will be will stop here we can find some gap then once again the line starts the sage says such periods are very detrimental to the client he might either die or meet with a very dire accident or 
he might fall sick very seriously and uh, one interesting thing is the sage teaches you how to measure the line how to measure the longevity of a person from this line valaromna kunjarasya kramat trigadeyanatu ekaikenaapi chekaiko nyayas satvam samvatsaro udai udaihi this line must not be measured by centimeter scale or millimeter scale or inch scale no tape is useful what you must do is pluck one hair from the tail of a grown up elephant elephant's tail hair is the measuring scale in the elephant's tail you can find some hairs will be thick some hairs will be lean what hair to pluck which one you must take a hair of medium growth not very rough not very slender a hair of medium width must be plucked and that must be kept crosswise not lengthwise crosswise for each one hair width one year must be calculated if a man's line is continuous with no stop he can start accounting from this year, this place with a hair crosswise mostly you will be able to make 100 that means that person will live for 100 years and even today you can see palm is using a very big uh, lens to see whether the line is broken or not the change of color denotes uh, an incident probably an accident and this is how they used to count the a number of years for man's uh, longevity in one shloka the sage says vridhi hraso syatah tasmat rohini iti nigadyate tamenam atmarekarti jagu kechit manishinah vridhi hraso vridhi means growing hraso means coming down this line is ever changeable supposing i do atrocities in my life i keep murdering people i keep plundering people what happens is this line will shrink the length will go down you know we find in ramayana ravana did all atrocities what happened he had got a boon from brahma that he will live for 3 crores of years but at the end of first crore he died his longevity that rohini shrank so you must be very careful and it is an observation by pomix that once in every 6 hours a line changes it has been tested and proved in laboratory you apply ink upon a roller take your palm print and keep observing once in 6 hours some line or other will be changing but i have not been uh, that careful i have taken uh, my palm print once a month and i have seen notable changes in the prints lines do keep changing depending upon the good deeds depending upon your devotion to god your lines change your past that is the previous karma disappears i remember well a friend of mine has told me that uh, his uh, palm was full of criss cross lines like a spider's web and it seems some pomis told him that uh, you are a man of worries you are born to worry 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 you will never be happy in life this man gets scared so he started worshiping his favorite deity lord muruga and there is one stotra called kandar sashti kavacha he started chanting it daily and he says i found that those lines disappear in due course and after 6 months those criss cross lines vanished because the shastras say bahureko bahukleshi if you have too many lines on the palm you will be worried you might be financially well off but mental worries will be there so what i come to say is you be a good man in life be devoted to god you keep helping others never go for criminal 
pursuits. That decides your fate even today, even in this birth. Even in this longevity, you can see your horoscope changing. Because mind, your mind is the deciding agent of your future. Whatever you think of, you become. You think of good things, you will be well. That's it. Then, let's go to the next sloka. Next uh, sloka speaks about Indira. Indira. What is this Indira? Indira Manibandhatu Rohini Vamaparshvaga Urdhum Abhanda Rekasyat Yadvachahar Rekhakam Amadhima Angulamba Sareka Sarva Samurdhidha this relates to what this Western poems say, uh, called uh, fate line. A line starting from the bottom of the poem. It goes straight and it ends up in the middle finger. This is called the fate line. Mostly fate lines are incomplete. But here he says, if a line starts from Manibandha, that is the bottom of the poem, and goes straight with no intervention, straight and reaches the bottom of the middle finger. That line is called Indira. This Indira is Sakasra Poshakam, Rishi says. Sakasra Poshakam means your ability to feed a thousand people in your life. You will be so rich that in your life, as a free gift, you can give food to two thousand people. You will be so rich. Sagasra Poshakam. This Indira is a desirable line. Then next to it comes uh, Ratiprada. Ratiprada. Ratiprada Swarnavarna Sukshma Rupa Divanisham Tariyak Kanishtika Mule Dampatyor Bhoga Saukyadha Ratipradeti Namasyaha Bhoga Saukya Pradatvataha This speaks of married life. If you have a vertical line below your uh, uh, small finger, this finger, Mercury finger, if you find a vertical line here, somewhere here, you will have a happy married life. Your wife will be very cooperative or your husband will be very cooperative and your marriage will not be a calamity. And this line decides it. The name itself is Rati Prada. Rati means uh, sexual happiness. That is, sexual happiness is given by this. It is bestowed. Rarely do we, do we find uh, people who say, I, I led a successful married life. Particularly in modern days, uh, most of the marriages end up in wreck. They get divorced, misunderstandings, and married life is a rare blessing. It is not given by God to everybody. Only one in a ten gets it. So if you have this Ratiprada, you have no problem. You will be very happy with your marriage partner. Then, the next one is, Klesha. Syat Tarjani Madhyamayorantara Madhyamayorantara Telagamini Klesha Sagnya Klesha Da Sa Namarthotra Parishputha That is this finger and this finger. Between these two fingers, if there is a line here, if there is a line here, that line is called Klesha. Klesha means you live always a worried life. If you find a line in between these two fingers upon the palm, that line bestows upon you a worried life. Klesha in Sanskrit means worry. So, if a man is worried, if a man leads a worried life, it, it doesn't happen just like that. It's all predestined. Some are born with that luck. Some are born with that misfortune. So God designs whom to happy and whom not to. 
If a person is worried, that's because of his past karma. And this, this line decides it. You know, in fact, there are hundreds and hundreds of lines on the poem to be interpreted. I'm not giving you all those lines. I just choose a very few important lines as guidelines. That's all. So that is about uh, Klesa. Then comes this uh, Dhenuka. You know, here, uh, one strange thing in palmistry, according to Indian Shastras is, they don't uh, call a line as it or this or that. They don't uh, attribute a neutral pronoun. They call it uh, she, feminine, feminine gender, third, third person. Each line is called as she. This line is Indira, she will be long, she will be well coloured, she must not be broken. That is how the sage says. He says before reading the palm of a person, you hold his right palm in your hands, you put flowers on it, do puja, worship it, because each line is a deity. All those deities must be uh, worshipped, obey them, give your obeisance to them, only then you will be able to foretell correctly. That is why human palms are said to be holy, particularly the right hand for a man. That's why we say, when you want to give elders something, say money or some object, give it in the right hand. You know, people do yagas, ignyas, sacrifices. There, when the priest, the chief priest, finishes the yagna sacrifice, he is uh, given fees for it. In Sanskrit, what is the name for the word fees? It is called dakshina. Dakshina means right hand. What should be given by the right hand is dakshina. You must not give by the left hand. In the West, people give anything in both the hands to anybody. They have no such restrictions. But here, it's a big crime if you do that. So, the right hand is full of deities. Every line is a deity. So here he says Dhenuka. One line is called Dhenuka. They give uh, names to all lines. Every line is a deity and every deity has a name. And it is called only by, the, not by that nomenclature. Dhenuka. Dhenuka means uh, cow giver. If this line is there, you will have plenty of cows in your house. Dhenuka Manibandhat Syat Indira Vama Parshvaga Urdhvon Mukhi Sukshma Rupa Madhyama Mulagamini This line will be adjacent to the fate line. What the sage calls Indira, you know. You find the Indira in the center, starting from here, reaching the middle finger. Next to it, you find another line, it's called uh, Dhenuka. This line is capable of bestowing you upon bestowing upon you cows, plenty of cows. You will be rich in cows. Buying a cow is easy, but bringing it up successfully, healthily and enjoying its milk is not given to everybody. Only a few people get it. If you have dhenuka, you will have that fortune. This relates somewhat to the sunline of Western palmistry. The West says, if a line goes towards this uh, sun mount, it is called a sun line. This is somewhat like that. But this is different from sunline in as much as the regular sunline will be more towards uh, this uh, ring finger. This is not like that. Then comes the next line. Perhaps that can be called the sun line. Its name is Dhanapradha. Dhanapradha means wealth giver. Dhanapradha kya sarekha manibandhat vinishrutha indira vama parshvena madhyama mulagamini abhishtartha pradha namna phalokyarthopi suchitaha. Dhanapradha means wealth giver, I told you. If there is another line next to Dhenuka, Go straight, but here he says that line must end up in the middle finger. 
that gives you all kinds of wealth you want so general principle is urdhva rekhas are good urdhva rekhas means upward lines vertical lines upon a palm the more and more you see vertical lines it's good horizontal lines denote bad effect so these indira dhenuka dhanaprada these lines start from the bottom of the palm they run straight up there they should reach the bottom of these fingers but for most of the people it stops somewhere here to that much it will give you a good effect then uh, next to dhanaprada we come across a very interesting line eh? the name is vishnugihi vishnugihi tarjana madhya parva madhyat adomsatah tiriya kinchit gata reka veerakanta sagnita that is if you find in the middle phalange of the index finger a certain line starting from the left side going towards the right upward it's called vishnugihi vishnugi means singing the names of lord vishnu you might feel well it is a very lucky line reality is not that it was named that way because if once you have that line here you will have as many diseases as possible in your body you will suffer from innumerable diseases doctors will give all kinds of medicines but no medicine will cure you elderly people and sages would say the only remedy for this is singing the names of lord vishnu keep singing his names read vishnu sagastra nama keep doing it the whole life so because this line makes you sing the names of lord vishnu it is called uh, vishnu singer vishnu gihi singing the names of lord vishnu let us pray that such a line must not come but if you do not sing the praises of lord vishnu if you keep forgetting him if you keep neglecting him in your life definitely you will get this line then you will have to sing his praise so do your duty every day think of god pray to him sing his names sing his glory then you won't get this line so this is a very interesting line vishnu gihi then the next one is uh, asigni asigni tarjani moolat urdhum atyanta sannidhau tiryagata phalam mrityuhu ashtavam shetu vatsare asigni iti asina nama hananasya prasangatah that is here you can find a line just below the index finger upon the jupiter mount a straight line going towards the finger if you have this line it's called asigni it's a sad line it's an un- uh, unlucky line it is a misfortune because you will die exactly in the age of 28 when you are 28 you will die if you have that line in those days when uh, babies were born in the hospital elders used to come to the hospital read the poem of the child then they will say this and this is going to happen that is how in mahabharata we read that when abhimanyu was born bishmacharya was a very good uh, astropomist he found out that this boy is going to die a premature death when he is newly married when his wife is pregnant he will die that's what his horoscope says bishmacharya knew that that is why when abhimanyu was killed everyone wept but bishmacharya said i knew this before even while he was born i knew this this would happen so this says if you have asigni you will die at the age of 28 then then comes sormi sormi mugdhayaha vrithavaikalyat adachandrakriti yadi 
ಸೋರ್ಮಿರ್ ನಾಮ ಭವೇತ್ ರೇಖಾ ವಾಂಛಿತಾರ್ಥ ಪ್ರದಾಸದ ಸೋರ್ಮಿರಿತಿ ಉದಿತ ಸದ್ಭಿಹಿ ಬೃಹತ್ ಅಂಗತ್ವ ಸೂಚನಾತ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಲೈನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಲೈನ್ ಕರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ದೇ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸಾಲೋಮನ್ಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಪಾಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಅ ರಿಂಗ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದಿ ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಮೌಂಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೂಪಿಟರ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಾಲೋಮನ್ಸ್ ರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ರಿಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಸೇಜ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಈಸ್ this line is capable of giving all one desires he doesn't say all wealth he says whatever he wishes for he will get for example this night i met uh, wish for eating a uh, chapati instead of rice supposing i have this line uh, somehow or other i will get it so whatever you wish for uh, you will get abhishta siddhi when you bless uh, youngsters you know what elders do usually when youngsters fall at the feet of uh, elders they say sarva abhishta siddhirastu may all your wishes be fulfilled every man wants that only so this line is capable of giving you that blessing then comes um vartula vartula namika mule vartula kriti sputha sachuvayate siddhitvam tatphalam nama cha sputam that is if you find a small circle at the base of this ring finger that is sun finger this one if you find a circle small circle you will become a minister of a nation in those days monarchy was existent kings had advisers and those advisers were called ministers in modern democracy the word minister means something else in those days a minister sachivaha meant an advisor to the king so you will be close to the king you will have royal powers and that line is called vartula then comes vastoshpati vastoshpati i think you will like this line because vastoshpati nama reka kanishta mula deshadah urdhon muki daksha parshve vichitra purva gehada namartu atra palok palokcheiva khajitah purva suri bihi if you find a line on the right side of your small finger starting from the bottom going upwards towards the finger if it reaches the topmost phalange and if you find that line towards the right side of the finger right side in the sense uh, when you view from here this right side if it is a single line you will get beautiful houses you will be the owner of big palaces very big houses very big bungalows ornamented to the latest fashion updated such houses you will get in horoscopes they say if you, if there is a jupiter or venus in fourth house you will get this boon if there is jupiter or venus in the fourth house you will get very good houses spacious palatial with high ceiling ornamented uh, answering to all your needs so that's a blessing and this line which is found in the index finger is called vastoshpati and this line can give you such houses supposing you don't have the line by birth you can create it not by a blade or cutting 
by praying to god if you keep praying god will give you good lines i told you lines appear and disappear good lines created because of your purva janma punya will disappear because of this present janma papa but if you are very devoted if you pray to god if you do good deeds good lines will appear bad lines will disappear that is how your fortune is decided so never feel dejected that such and such line is missing you can always make one create by divine grace one shloka says that sarvasam api samprokta lakshananam tatastadah antara yadi vichedo rekanam nasheva he gives a general remark he says whatever be the line whether it is a good line or a bad line it must be complete with no decoloration with no gaps if it is cut anywhere it's always a bad remark so lines must be honey colored full colored deep colored deep set one thing is lines must be visible from a distance they must not be pale you can see on some palms lines will be very pale you can't read those lines from a distance of 2 uh, feet such a horoscope is a very weak horoscope they will be afraid they will have uh, psychic problems they will be worried and that horoscope is not going to shine brightly so lines must be very bright that itself is a fortune if a line is deep cut wide well colored honey colored and bright with no intersections that itself is a great luck you can see such lines on the palms of a uh, big uh, millionaires of the world i have seen i observe whenever i see the palm of a person in a magazine i see whether those lines are visible if those lines are clearly visible i make a cutting of that i preserve it in my file thus i have read the palms of hundreds of people both fortunate as well as unfortunate one thing i have found out this palmistry is not a fake this palmistry is not a deceptive science some people believe that this is a cheating technique no it is not so there is only one possibility that is the palm reader is not sufficiently informed that is when his predictions go wrong otherwise if he is well, well informed well educated if he has learned at the feet of big masters what he says never goes wrong so palmistry is a reliable science provided you work studiously you need to study at least for 4 or 5 years only then palmistry is a reliable science and uh, in one place the sage says that palm alone can be depended you leave alone your face your head your nose and other features you can foretell the future of a person merely from the palm itself it is self contented it's like an encyclopedia only thing is the proper reader is not available in those days rishis were well informed of these lines and even the elders of the houses they had known about this whenever a baby is born in their house they used to spread the palm and read and they will know okay this and this type of child has been born into our family so there are rekhas called sanyasi rekhas if you have those lines that person will become a sanyasi so even that has been written there fortune character and tribulations ups and downs everything can be read from the palm provided you are well informed even today if you go to the sarfoji mahal of tanjore we find palm leaves rich with information about palms only thing is we are not able to study them or understand them but there were people who could read all those things one sad thing is such a science as holy as samudriga shastra is perishing gradually perishing god alone knows 
what's going to happen tomorrow i wish that each one of you does his part of learning so that this science can be perpetuated see you thank you